Hello everybody. In this video we are going to see how to solder this kit. This is a Game Boy Pocket charging kit and we can use it to replace the AAA batteries in our Game Boy Pocket and use a Lion battery like this or maybe like this if we can put inside, why not? And charge the battery by USB-C. Okay, this kit uh, should include the board, okay? This board, maybe with the light you can see better. This board, this rectangle, include three boards. Now, right now, this is the test board, okay? I'm testing if this works well. The first board that I made works uh, perfect. This is the second one, and I'm making the video with the second one, and this suit works. I ordered already the second version of the test board. I will because I did some modification, and this suit works as well. And then I, I will I will make more. Okay. Oh, maybe you can see. I don't know. This board include the USB board, and you have to cut over there. The main board that include the the electronic component for charging the battery, okay, and the light board. In the other side, we don't have anything. Okay, we have uh, some parts where we need to solder this board uh, over the Game Boy Pocket board. Also, this kit. Uh, include the battery cable. Why this battery cable? Because this connector, this battery connector, is so small. I think it's the uh, smaller, smallest connector, and many batteries doesn't include this. So you can buy a battery, and and this will include a, a bigger connector that you cannot connect. So if this happened with your battery, the easier way to fix that is cutting the cable here and, and join with the new one that includes the kit and finish. If you are good at soldering, you can remove the cut-on tape, removing the original cable and put the new cable. And also, maybe you want to put all of them. Maybe you want to cut and put like, like this, only like this. It's not, you, can, you can see by yourself how long do you need. Okay, so include the, the board, battery cable, and this another cable. This cable uh, includes three, three wires. And you need to use this for join the main board to the light board. Because this light uh, board uh, has to be put in the original place where the red light is. Okay. I need to say something because the first version of the Game Boy Pocket doesn't include any light. With this kit, you can get uh, this functionality. But maybe it's necessary to change this uh, resistance, resistor. I need, I need to check this, I don't know yet. I, I need to check which uh, value I should put. But only for the people who doesn't have the red light, because if the if your Game Boy Pocket includes this, you don't need to change anything. It's ready for using it. And in this bag, I haven't included, but uh, I will include as well uh, a small cable. Because for the people who uh, their uh, Game Boy Pocket does include the, the red light, they need to solder two cables more in some place. Okay. Before installing install install installation, before to do this installation, okay, I will show you uh, a Game Boy Pocket board, okay. This is going to be the second board for this board, for this video Game Boy console. That means I remove already some components that you need to remove. I will show you in my computer which components do you need to remove. How you can see in my screen, 
uh, in this side, this side is the bottom side. So, yeah, so I will I will show you first the top side. This is the top side. You can see the buttons, okay? Star, select, up, down, okay? All of them. You need to remove the jack connector, this connector, and also you have to remove the light if your board include the light, okay? If your board include the light, uh, should uh, looks like like this. If your board doesn't include your light, this uh, looks like like this. You will have a big hole in the same place where Nintendo should have put the light, but in the first model they, they haven't done. So in your case that you don't have the light, you, you have to put the board maybe with, uh, uh, I don't know, with tape, with glue in this place and solder the cables. One cable should be here, the crown, and the other in, I don't know, U, UFCC maybe, but the resistance uh, have to has to be changed for another value. Anyway, uh, this is the top side. So only the jack connector and the light. The bottom side, you can see on the top the, the light, the other side of the red light, LED. The connector, jack connector, and also you have to remove this capacitor, this uh, uh, fuse, I think is that, and uh, this diode. This so one, two, three, four components, and because you uh, are replacing the AAA batteries, you can remove this and get a bit space more for putting for trying to put the, the uh, biggest one battery that you can. Okay. In the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Color uh, installation, the other video, I explained with uh, another board how to remove, the best way to, for removing the, the electronic components, the connectors, how you can use this tool for destroying the jack connector, okay, and the solder iron with a big uh, drop of tin and helping you as well with flux and only with these three things okay also with the solder wick with these four things you can you can do this tax okay you can remove everything your bar will be perfect so if you don't know how to do it's good you can see this video because i i, I will not explain again this is it's long explication okay and I don't want to make this video long again. So, okay, we have our board. It's clean, perfect clean. We don't have the battery connectors, we don't have the jack, the jack, the holes, the, the jack holes are empty. This is important, we need these holes empty of tin. And we, I, I, I have removed the components, so it's perfect. Which is the first thing that you should do? Okay, take your board like this, take some cut-on tape, something like this, okay, and put on your select and start button because you have to solder here. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> you have to solder here, and these buttons are too much near. If you put something on them, maybe they will uh, don't work. Okay, so protect well your buttons. Minimum this, please. You can use uh, Kepton tape or any kind of tape. I don't know. You can. This is the best one. Maybe you can use this. That is for painting. Doesn't matter. Only protect them. It's important. If you want. You can protect all of them, but minimum this both. What more we need? I think right, right now the board is ready for, for soldering it. Okay, so we can take our board. Again, this is the test board and it's not perfect, but which is the problem of the test board? I, I will tell you. 
The problem is this board, the, the USB board, is not long enough. So for some USB, USB cables, can be a bit difficult because you know that let me take the case, the plastic case. Okay, when you put your board, the connector can be too much inside and maybe it's difficult to put some cables, okay? So for the next test version, I, 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 I take out the, the USB one millimeter more out. And, and I did uh, some modification more, but not important. It is only the USB is the, the thing that I needed to change. And if this is works well, I, I, I will order more. Okay, so now I have my, my board. Before separating the boards, maybe, if you can, I don't know, I think you will not able because, I don't know. Okay, with the Game Boy Color board, sorry, oh, you cannot see. Uh, with the Game Boy Color board, it's not possible to connect the USB because the frame uh, doesn't allow you to do it. With the Game Boy Pocket, in this version, yes. In the last version, I think no. Anyway, doesn't matter. Ta you can take your board. And with this tool, in this version, but I hope in the last version, we can you can broken the frame using your hands. But in this version, you need to use this tool. And cut in here. I hope you can see now. Cut in here, one, two, and the last one, three, and now the board is released. This, you can throw it. Oh, I'm sorry, no, you, in this version, in this version, no, okay, in, in the last version, in the, that you can receive, this will include a URL where you can see the information of this board, the, this video, uh, a PDF that I need to do and I don't know pictures some help for for installing this board okay so now I have uh, this maybe if you want it's not required but if you want you can clean a bit you want I think it's not necessary but I like Sorry, you cannot see. Okay. And here. But I think it's not necessary. Okay. We have this. Um, what more? You can see now it's smaller than before. Because this is this is nothing. This is for throwing. And we need to make smaller. Now we can test the board before cutting anything. I, I, I test for you before sending it, but you should try again. If you put uh, your USB-C, you can turn on your battery or your charger and you should see a green light. Okay, That means the battery is full or is disconnected. In this case, it's disconnected. I can put a, a battery, this is empty, I can connect, and now you can see the light is red, because now it's charging the battery. When the battery uh, is full, the light will change to green color. Okay, you can do this test, it's easy, and you know the battery, the board is working well. Okay. Now that we, we remove the frame, sorry, we need to remove, we need to separate the USB from the main board, but only the USB. We need to keep uh, joined or connected the light board to the main board. Why? Because after finishing to solder the USB and the main board, we can see if this is working well. And then we can separate and put the light board in the correct place. Okay, for separating this, I think the USB is, is easy to separate, but the light is a bit difficult. Okay, but now it's the USB. How we can separate is like this. It's easy. I don't know if you were able to listen. Okay, now it's not separate. Ooh. 
only that. Again, we can clean this if we want. Only a bit. Uh, enough. And the USB. Nah, this is okay. This is the first board. The USB is the first board that we need to solder. It's a bit tiny. And this includes two resistors and the USB, only that. In the button side, let me put this there. In the button side, we can see many pads. Five pads, okay? But only three are connected to the USB. The small one in the button are the ground pad. And the center in the top, the top center, is the uh, positive pad. The other two uh, are not connected to the USB, but are here for making this board uh, strong, uh, to, to, to make strong the, the, the join to the, to the Game Boy Pocket board, okay? So you don't need to be worried about uh, connecting and disconnecting many times the, the USB because yes, this is strong enough, okay? Don't worry about that. How we can solder it? We need to take our Game Boy Pocket Board. It's here. This is the button side, no? It's the wrong one. It's in this side. Uh, next to or in front of uh, the jack, the audio connector, the headphone connector. I'm going to put here. Okay? Maybe it's a bit difficult. How we can do this? If you turn over your board, you should see uh, because the holes are empty of thin, you can see these pads. I hope you can see. I, I, let me. Okay, yes, like this. All of them, you can see all of them right now. Okay, but the connector is a bit wrong. You need to center well. Something like this. I don't know if you can see. Maybe too much. Try to center well. This is the, the most important part. Okay? How we can solder it? Okay, I forgot to turn on my solder iron. The first thing that we need to do is put a, a small drop of tin in one pad. I think the best one is on the top. The positive pad. Okay, with my shoulder iron, now I think I'm using one tip of 0 0.5 millimeters, maybe one. This side is wood sides. Try to, to use uh, this one. Uh, bigger, maybe you can have a problems, but you can do, you can do it. But I think this is the best one. Uh, what do you need? you need? We need a bit thin. Okay, and put one drop of tin here. Okay, here, come on. Like this. Maybe a bit big. Okay, like this. A beautiful drop. You can see, I don't know, you can see... I think you can see now. Okay, like this. It's enough. Why? Because this will uh, help us to center the, the connector, this drop is for this hole, okay? We can center it. We can, sorry, we can try to center the USB as much as we can. I think like this, I don't know if you can see. I think like this is perfect. Okay, and now with our uh, tip, solder iron tip, we need to put, I hope, I, it's difficult to record this, okay? Inside of the hole. Okay, not yet, because I cannot put inside, this hole is too much small. But I felt how my finger is getting hot. Okay, now, now, now get inside there, okay. 
Okay, I I will show you. At the finish, my 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 soldering on tip was able to get inside and melt the tin on my USB board, and now it joined. Okay. Maybe you can see it's not too much. I think I think I I need to move the button part a bit half millimeter on the left. It's not perfect, okay? So hot again and try to move. I don't know. I think no, again, <laughs> this is the difficult part. And this is a bit hot for your finger. I think now it's perfect. If you want, like in the Game Boy Color uh, video, you can put two, two layers around your finger and then you can touch without getting burned or hot anyway you i think you can see i hope you can see i will connect the cable because i think this is here keep it strong with your finger or because it's only one point okay i think it's, it's perfect now in my case because this is the second time that i saw that this board this kind of board. I need to check if this uh, match with my hole because I I, I, I did a, a hole already in my case so I need to check this. For you it's okay because your case doesn't have any hole but for me I need to check if this is okay or not. Okay let me put the speaker in the place. This is like this. Okay I think it's perfect. Let me close. I, I will put this a bit far. Okay. I close. And now I think you can see it's more, my, my USB is more on the left than the right. So it's not, I, I haven't centered it well. In my case, for you it's okay because you don't have this hole and you can cut the hole more on the left or more on the right, depends on how is your USB. Okay, I can try. Okay, this this is okay. I don't have any problem. Maybe I can I can move. I will try to move. Because so my problem for my USB is that I need to move on the right. So I need to separate from the here phone. I will try. Sorry, this is not focus. I will try. I... Sorry if you can listen some noise. My family is here as well. Okay, I think I move a bit. I don't know. Maybe too much. Let me try again. Okay, the speaker first. The board. Okay, close it. No, I think now it's perfect. I think I don't know. Eh? Let me see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it's better. Okay, for this board, that is the test board. Okay. The problem is the USB is too much inside. I don't know if you can see now. No, I don't. I think it's difficult to see. But the problem is this, okay? It's too much inside. So, how you can see, when you connect this, it's, it's, it's not enough, okay? For the new version, I, I take out this one millimeter out. Okay, we can continue. What more we need to do? Solder the, the other parts. How? Oh, uh, doing the same than the first one. We can put, okay, I think you can see now. Okay, perfect. I can put my, my, my solder iron, iron, 
here put inside in the hole I don't know you cannot you cannot see it. like this put it in and remove easy put the iron tip inside keep a bit put maybe a bit more time thin and take out again and take out and the last one maybe maybe I can put change the camera the position of the camera let me check I hope sorry I hope you can see better now the last one okay yes put the iron tip in the inside of the hole and put thin and take out okay finish now the this board is uh, super strong and you will not have any problem another thing that we need to check because uh, for the Game Boy Color version board, the main board and the USB uh, are in the same board, okay, only one board, and both of them in the same side, but now, no, now it's USB, Nintendo board, and another board, so it's like a sandwich, that means we need to clean if we have a stress of tin. You can put the finger, I think it's perfect, maybe this this one has too much. How we can clean? Easy. If you have flux, use it always. It's like magic, okay? Put a bit here. Only a bit, we don't need too much. We also need, I don't have, I don't know where I have, uh, here, okay? We need this to remove the stress of tin. Put here, hot, and okay. I need to do again like this hot. All right, I cannot put with this in the, in the camera in the middle, okay. And move out. I don't know if you can see, but now it's less uh, thin. Let me check. Maybe this as well. Hot and the out. Yes, less less. Perfect. Now it's perfect. We can clean to be sure that is that we did well with alcohol and some tissue or, or something for cleaning. And I hope you can see. Focus, come on. Here, okay, you can see. It's perfect. So the next step. I will turn this and this to here. Okay, I think focus. Perfect. The second step is solder this board. Don't cut the light board yet. We want to solder it. This has three points. If you turn over the, the board, this is only painting, okay? Where you need to solder the board is this, this, and this. We are going to see on the other side. This is connected to the USB, and this has five volts. This is the ground. And this is the the battery for your Game Boy Pocket, okay? How we can do this? Super easy. Okay, I will tell you. The the first one is this this pad and need to be need to match with this. You can see? So this should be like like this. Another thing that I haven't told you is Maybe this leg can have too much thin. You will need 
you might need to clean with this and remove the stress. You can put thin after, but before putting the board, you need to remove a bit. Or maybe no, depends on your Game Boy Pocket, okay? But if you felt that you cannot put well in the correct place, it's because this. Okay? So because now this is the first part, we need to take our uh, solder iron and put one, sorry, put one drop of tin here. Something like this. I think you can see, yes. And now we can put our board in the place. Try to center well. Let me see. You have to center this one. This is the smaller one, so I think this is the most important to be to put in the correct place. Okay, let me see. I think it's perfect. And this, okay, now uh, get your solder iron and put inside of the hole and then the tin will melt, take out, wait 5 seconds and this is joined. You can see. Let me focus. Okay, a bit far and focus. Oh, you can see, it's, I think it's not good here. Oh, what happened? I think it's because the steps of thin here, but it's okay. I will hold this part and then make, uh, I don't know how to say, make a strong here to put the bar in the correct place but you can see the most important part is in the middle is this one if this is okay all of them are okay so the second one that i will solder is this okay let me move this okay take one drop of tin Make a strong here and put, I think you cannot see, uh, maybe like this, like, and take out. Wait five seconds, this is a bit hot, but wait five seconds, okay. Be sure that you don't put too much thin and join both legs of this. Okay, I think it's difficult to have this problem, but take care of this. And I think with this is enough for testing the board. I don't know. I, I think for te testing the board, yes. For turning on the, the Game Boy Pocket, no, because we have to put the last... Sorry, it's not focus. We have to put the last leg. But I want to see if this works already or not. Let me check. This to turn on green. Okay, it's green. And if I put the battery, this has to be yeah. red, green. This looks uh, worse. Well, okay, what more? Okay, we can finish to solve it. Last leg, I don't know how to how to put in my camera. I think you can see it like this. Take a bit thin, like this. Okay, you can see well, yes. Put here, hot. And finish. This installation is finished. If you can see, the drop is this one. This is the hole that we are joining to the media, the, the center pad. We can remove this. Oh, we can wait until, until, we will wait until the finish, why not? We, we, we can try again, if this is working. This is working, okay, perfect. Now, 
we can separate the light board because we know that this is working perfect or, or maybe no we can we can do one text before we can turn on the the, the Game Boy Pocket we should be able to listen the speaker the, the Nintendo song when you turn on let me connect this and Can you listen? Again. Yes, this is working perfect. We don't have the light, uh, the white uh, light, because it's here and we need to solder here. This will not work until we have the board here, the light board here. So, what more? We take out the battery and we can uh, cut the light board separate from the main board how doing like this this is a bit maybe too much uh, uh, hard okay but try to let me okay try to hold from here and yes it's a bit difficult but you can okay i think you you were able to listen you can finish. Maybe we can cut again. I don't know why I like, but I like this very clean. Uh, a bit. Okay. With the cutter we can more, but it's enough. And we have our light bar. We also can. I don't think this is unfocused. Okay. Now we can clean this, but I think with this tool it's a bit hard. You can try. I think this is better with your uh, scissors. Okay. And clip. I hope you can see. I will put in my nail. It's really tiny. <laughs> can you see? It's... Okay. How we can solder it? If your video game, if your Game Boy Pocket has red light, you have to press solder these two pads. If you unjoin, to here, easy. If your video game, you, if, oh my goodness, if your uh, Game Boy Pocket doesn't have, you can put maybe one drop of glue and or tape and put here like this okay and you will need to connect because you cannot solder the pads on the button you need you need to solder these small pads on the top this is uh, positive and this is negative oh, focus Come on. I will put a picture because now I, I haven't tried yet where is the best place that you can solder it or if Maybe you need you or I need to do before to send to you. Change the resistance, the resistor, uh, for another value. This resistor is for the light, a uh, white light. I know the the ground is here, for example. This is the nearest place, and the positive is I think this or this. I don't know. I need to check. Maybe I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Anyway, because this pocket has light. We can take our small bar and put two drops of tin like this. One and two. It's really small. I don't know, you can see two drops. Perfect. Now we can center the board. Take care, you are putting the pads outside, okay? And the lights inside. We can center it in the in the correct place. Now, I, maybe I recommend you. You can put two two layers of captain around your fingers, like I don't know, like this, if you have, because this is hot, okay? Like this. Don't put on your board because the, if you put on your board, you cannot move and center the the board well in the correct place. But if you put in your finger, you can you still uh, moving uh, it. 
so now try to center well like this it's, it's hard it's hard like this put your finger hot the other side we will need a, a drop of tin and I think you can see it's focus is this no it's better okay and move like this okay this you can feel how the bar is the tin of the bar is melting wait five seconds I can take out my finger and this is tender maybe it's not perfect maybe it is the left side should be a bit more on the top but I think it's enough okay don't worry or maybe you can hot again but this should be enough if you want because this has to be in the good place or or will be difficult to close the, the case the plastic case you can try now before soldering any any cable you can put you can try now to put your board in the place and, and check if you think that this is perfect yeah I, I, I felt yeah I think it's okay we also can try to, to put the battery come on it's a bit hard and turn on yeah can you see I think let me get down turn off I mean this yeah okay this is working well what more we need to do about the light I will tell you something because I will forget if I don't tell you now I have here I put something in the hole okay this is a, a light uh, of three millimeters I, I cut the legs it's like the original one but the original white or the original one is red so need a, we need a transparent why because we have three colors if we put a red one we cannot be able to see the green and, and white okay so we we can put this is a transparent light cut the legs and put in the hole so this will help us to get a better color I don't know how to say in, in English but we will see better the light with this I will try to include this with the kit I bought uh, many many lights and I will try if I can include or not if it's easy for me cutting the legs and keep and not broken the plastic because when you cut the legs uh, many times the plastic can be broken and destroyed and then you cannot use so I will I want to try this if my kit doesn't include this maybe you can do you can try to do by yourself or you can find something some plastic transparent that you can put in the hole to to help the light go to the center I don't know for me it's good to use this but maybe you can use a fiber optic cable but no for internet uh, for audio because it's it's bigger I don't know I or maybe um, I don't I don't know I, for me is this is the good one so I have this in my hole and this helped me to to put the light to the center okay we can we can continue now with the other things now we can take the cable that include the kit this is a cable that has three wires the colors doesn't matter maybe you can this one is is blue red and brown but you can get yellow white i have many colors and because i made this cable by myself okay i i i, I made okay with one tool and i don't have here maybe maybe here yes i have here okay i have many colors this is yellow, uh, green and black, uh, I have many, okay? But doesn't matter the color. The most important is you join the pad, for example, on the top, you can see here the letters. Okay, I will put the camera. You can see the letters, the plus, plus, C and D. 
you need to to you need to join you must join the plus with plus c with c and d with d plus with plus c with c and d with d the color doesn't matter if you receive a cable that has uh, a, a red or orange y you can use this color for the positive for plus uh, pad it's, i think it's good if you can do it if you receive another color it's okay it doesn't matter and this cable is is longer than you need okay because you need to put from here to the board you should have three two three four centimeters more this doesn't mean you need to keep no you have to put and cut in the correct size why is longer than you need because maybe when you are taking out the the plastic you can cut too much and cut the cable so you need to cut again and cut again so you have you can try two or three times maybe no okay what we need to do now prepare the cable take your cable separate the the wires only a bit we don't need too much okay something like this i think you can see now and i need to remove the plastic a half millimeter is enough you can do one millimeter and cut the steps because in the light bar we don't have a space okay so half millimeter is perfect okay now i cut too much i need to try again okay perfect now blue and red okay maybe the red a bit more for the other side okay i hope you can see now it's, it's nothing it's half millimeter maybe one but not much it's only maximum this and if it's longer you, you it's better if you cut okay now we want i don't need this more we want in my case because i have a red or orange color i want to put this color on the top so i can i can i can join again the cables because this is too much i want red on the top in this case this will be red blue and brown but before doing this i need to press solder the pads in this board in the game boy color board this has only three pads but this include five because this game boy uh, pocket has uh, the red uh, light include light you don't need to use the left and right pad only the three pads that are in the center okay don't use this and this only the three in the center clean very well your shoulder iron of tin you don't want anything take your tin and for me it's better start from the left to the right it's like i hope you can see i will touch here or maybe here okay better now no sorry i forgot if you have flus put a bit a bit almost nothing because the bar is very small okay you can put a lot but doesn't you don't need only a bit to help solder the cables and the pads and now put your tin and your iron okay perfect 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 be careful don't touch the resistor if you touch it this will move and will be difficult to put again in the right place because it's super small and the lights if you move i think it will be impossible for you put in the correct place because are smaller than the resistance the resistor okay sorry but i cannot make this bigger it's, it's not space enough okay i hope you can see i have my red blue and brown cables okay i think you can see like this 
And now I want to solder. Uh, which one is better? Okay, I, I'm saying the brown cable is too much long. I will cut a bit. My brown cable is too long. I want to cut a bit. My blue as well, too much long. And red also. Okay, I cut all of them a bit. I think you will not appreciate, but I cut a bit. And now we need to solder it. I forgot to clean the, the tip. Very important. Don't put more tin because you don't have the space. Okay, now it's clean. Okay, and which one first? I think brown. Okay, now blue. I don't know if you can see, I think yes. Blue and red. A bit more inside, okay. I don't know if the blue is good. Okay, I think it's better now. I think are perfect. I, I don't know if you can see, I hope, I hope. Okay, like this is perfect. If you have a tester, you can you can test, but I think you can see. Okay, maybe the camera, no, but with my eyes, I'm, I think it's perfect. So now, what we need to do? I will put a bit far, my phone. We need to put this cable like this. Okay, like this, like this, like this, until here. Okay, we want something like this. For this, we, we can use glue. We can use uh, instant glue or that is dry fast. A few glue, we don't need too much. We can put one drop here. Put the cable and wait 10 seconds until this is dry. Five, 10 seconds. Okay. We can put, don't move too much because this will remove. It's not strong enough yet. Take one drop more, a small drop. Okay, not too much, this has too much. And put, I don't know, here. Okay. And put the cable here in the correct place. Where is the clue? Wait five, ten seconds again. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. We can put also another more. The most important is the last part. We will put two. We can put another more in the middle. Be careful, don't put glue in your buttons, okay? If you are not good enough doing these kind of things, protect all buttons. It's okay, you can remove after the tape. I think I want nothing, a small drop. I can put here, okay, and now put the cable. I forgot to tell you something that I will, I will tell you now after this is dry, is dry. Okay, okay, I think, okay. You can have, this uh, circuit can have something like this. Can you see? It's like this is taking, going out a bit, and this, okay? Maybe you can have some of this here. If you have, you need to cut because you need to you need to put the cable, so you need to remove. I will show you how, how to remove one of these. It's easy. Okay. Focus my camera. Take your tool, put here, and cut. A bit more, and cut. If it's not enough for you, you can use a cutter. A cutter, I think, is the word. One of these. Be careful with your fingers and your hand, we can do like this, okay, and now it's perfect. 
So maybe you need to do this over there because the cable have to touch. Have no the cable uh, has not to be more has not to be more what the cable cut cannot be more outside because only uh, there is only one millimeter but when the board to the plastic case okay you will see oh, I will I can show you now when you put your board with the cable here and you put on your case you will understand now yes here is only one millimeter is perfect for your cable your cable is in the middle but when between sorry the board and the case but if you have something in the middle this will annoy you so you have to cut like I saw you now okay I hope you can understand me one more I ah, yes uh, now because we will need to move to match this cable it's good if you put two drops here but we don't want to match near to the corner because we want to do this put under between this board in this case yellow board and the green board this is the power supply so you we can we can want to do something like this I, I know if I don't know if you can see okay so I will put the last two drops of the uh, Glue here. One second. And a big one. And put the cable in the correct place. And wait a few seconds. This is the best way for installing the cable. Because if you put in the middle, this will annoy you with your game, with your case, with many things. But in in one side, in this side of the board, there isn't anything, so it's, it's the best place for putting the cable. And you can you can remove the board from your case, and you will forget that the cable is here because it's just it's like you cannot touch. It's 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 it's, it's, it's with glue. So this doesn't move, this is perfect. Okay, I will close this. I, I have finished it with the glue. What more? We need to put, how I tell you, we need to put the cable here, and here, and here. Now, if you are not good doing these kind of things, you can put the cable a bit long, okay? And try to put in some place in the case. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you can you can you can do like 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 this. I don't know. Okay, but it's not beautiful. Okay, if you use a transparent case, or if it's normal case, you can do like this. Okay, because nobody can see. But if you use a transparent case, try to to put as short as you can. So I hope you can see, like this. I think I can cut where I have my nail now. Maybe a less. Like this. So I, I I will put my I don't know where I have my tool right here. Sorry, I cannot f record well. I think it's like this. In this case, you have two centimeters more, I think. Sometimes three centimeters, uh, about two centimeters more. And we need to put in the in the place first. We need to remove the plastic like before. I think it's too much long. I, I think I can take out two millimeters more. I, because this is the last installation that I will make. I will do on my board. I will. I want to make perfect. And also, this this first part that I solder, I think I can put one drop of more of tin. So I will press solder these three parts and I will put one drop more here because I haven't put enough tin. I think. I will put more perfect and now the smaller one where I have to solder the cables if you have flues you can put a bit only a bit it doesn't you don't need too much 
and I think the best way for soldering it is like this. I think you can see maybe this better. Okay, and now three small drops. One second and last one. In this in this board you have more space. If you want to put bigger than the light board you can. But you don't need. You really don't need. Okay. If you want you can clean, but it's okay. In my case, I want to make very short, but let me see, maybe uh, one millimeter maximum. Let me see. No, one, I, I haven't got enough. Uh, okay, I think perfect. How I need to connect the cables, I forgot. Uh, red, blue and brown. Red, blue and brown. So the first one is the brown. Sorry, you cannot see. Red, blue and brown. So the first one is brown. Brown is done. Okay, I forgot to, that I need to cut the plastic. Now be careful because in my case I cut a lot. Okay. okay. A bit more. Be careful. I cut too much now. Oh, be careful. Now with my nails is better. Maybe not enough. Uh, el blue, my blue cable is in the middle, go away. Okay. Okay, perfect. And now the last one, red. Okay, perfect. Now I can join a bit more and I need, I forgot, I don't have memory. Red, blue, brown. Red, blue, brown. So I need first brown. Now, if you have one of these, it's better you, you don't use. Because when you try to solder the cable, the cable will be hot and you're making too much uh, strong with this and the plastic can melt, okay? It's better if you try to put in the correct place using your fingers. Only only doing this. Or maybe you can use but this tool, but only this. Don't, don't Maybe uh, I don't know how to say. Sorry, don't don't press. Or maybe you can use this to to help you to put in the correct place. But only for that. Yes, I think you can use like this. Okay, try to to help the cable to go here. I have ready. I forgot to clean the tip of the iron, but I think it's okay. I don't know if you are able to see, but the plastic melt a bit, because this always happened. Oh, I forgot, no, now it's blue. <laughs> I don't have memory. Okay, blue, try to put in the good place. You can use the tweezers to help you to put the cable. You can see, uh, it's difficult to focus well. I think it's in a good place. I will clean now my tip. I don't want to add more tin. Okay, now you can... Perfect, and now last one. Oh, sorry, I moved the camera again and again and again. I don't have space. This cable is the worst one because... Okay, I think it's... With my finger I can touch. Oi. Maybe now? No. Yeah. No, no, not enough. No, no, no. But this looks like I, I, I joined, but no, no, no. 
Okay, then I'll hold the board. Because my phone is in the middle, it's easier. But if you don't have any phone in the middle, the camera, I mean. Oh, sorry. Uh, how you? I don't know if you can see the plastic melt here. So yeah, it's difficult. You you cannot hold too much. Okay. So we can try now. I hope this works well. What should happen uh, if we connect the battery? My, I mean my 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 external battery by USB C. Or you can put your charger, your phone charger. We can connect. In my case, I need to turn on here. And now I have all lights on. Turn on. Oh, sorry. I will remove this. No, I don't want this. I don't know if you can appreciate, but all of them are turned on because the video game was on. This is what work can work without battery. I think you can listen, but I think anybody want play without battery. Turn on, turn on. Ah, now. Ping. Can you listen? Yes. You can play if your battery is empty, and then it will take more time for charging, okay? But I mean, nobody will close the shield, the case, and not connect any battery. Anyway, you can see it's green because we haven't connected any battery, but if I put one, we can see now it's red, it's charging, and when the battery is full, this will change to green color. And if we disconnected it, this will turn off, and if we turn on the, the Game Boy Pocket, this is white, and I'm finished, it's working everything. Oh, you can see it's a bit difficult, but I think you can do it. Let me put the, the phone light again. How oh, you can see it's a bit difficult, but following me, following my advice about how to solder all parts, I think you can you can do. I think in one hour, about one hour, we can remove this. About one hour you will be able to, to get this. I haven't tried this board with a, a new screen, okay? I have my old one, because I, I, I bought this video game, this Game Boy Pocket, only for making my board. I have another one, but I don't uh, I don't want to modify my, my original one yet. I don't know if in the future. So I, I'm, I'm losing everything, the light. Where are you? Here. Okay, so we can close. I will show you how to close. Uh, but yes, let me repeat again. Because you put the cable here, you can manipulate, you can move, you can. You don't have any cable that this can be, I don't know, you can remove by mistake, I don't know. Putting your finger in the middle. No, this is perfectly in this place. This doesn't annoy you for anything. This is how this suit looks like. USB, Game Boy Pocket board, and main board. I, uh, I haven't told you something. If you are not good at soldering, you can not put this light and keep the red one. But it's a problem because you will not know when the battery is full of, ch uh, when you are charging the battery and when it's full. I think. The good thing that my board has is this um, is the perfect size for your for this model, and you get this functionality in the original hole. And if you let me take my old video game, my another Game Boy Pocket. If you have this model, this was the first model that doesn't have hole. That means you don't have the light either. But you can you can buy a new case or maybe only the glass, change it and put the board as well. But you will need to solder again. I, sorry, I think I'm repeating too many times the same the same thing. You can solder the the cables here, 
the the button pad to here and the right to another place. I will pull you, I, I will put this I will write this in the documentation because I don't know yet where is the best place. But yes, you can use uh, the first version of the board is compatible. And I don't know. I think I'm not. I'm not sure. But I think you can use also also in your Game Boy Pocket Lite. I haven't opened this. I will not open this. But I I have the pictures of this board, and I think everything is the same size. The jack uh, connector is in the same place. The same everything match. Maybe the board is one millimeter more changed a bit. Okay. But I think almost everything, you can see how, I don't know if you are able to see, you have the same components that you need to remove, I think, match 100%. Okay? I think everything is okay, it's the same. Maybe you need to cut the shelf in another way. Anyway, I don't know who want to modify this, this video game that was sold only in Japan. I don't want to modify this one. This is perfect like this. This is for my collection. I don't I don't want to broken it. But I think it's, this board is compatible also for this one if you want. But I haven't tried this. I don't know. But I think this would uh, be able or usable for this board. For this video game, I mean, sorry. Okay, one more. Ah, okay, we can finish now. Uh, be sure that everything is in the correct place. Put the speaker. I think everything is clean, clean enough. Okay, okay. We can put the speaker. We can put the. Um, I would put the camera a bit far. We can put. Where is my my screw? Here. Okay. I need three of them. Like this one. And which one more? This one. Okay. I lost this. Okay, perfect. I don't know where I have the plastic for my button. I lost it. I don't know where is it. Ay, my goodness. Okay, I, I remember. I put here. The, the, the screen cable. In this case is the original screen because this is only for testing this in my pocket. Connect it. Put the plastic for the button, the switch. This is like this. Okay, perfect. What more? In my case, I haven't cut the the, uh, the case the seal, and I don't think I will do. So in my case. I'm using a super small battery that is, you can play about one hour and a half, I think. This this take 10, 20 minutes, half hour to charge, I think, less about this. And you can play one hour. It's 230, but I think nobody wants to put this. I, I think, I don't know, I think, I think you can put this. This is 1000, but you need to cut and maybe you can put a bigger one if you cut more. Because now we don't have these these things that we remove. I remove in my case, okay. But this depends on you, okay. In my case, because I I'm, I don't play with this one. You can put. I will put like this. Okay, first I will show you something. When you close this, you can see the connector here. That means if you want to connect. If you are, if you, if you want to be able to connect and disconnect without opening the seal, you need to make cut here. It's like my Game Boy Pocket. No, sorry, Game Boy Color that I have here. Okay. I can, I can connect and I can disconnect. Why? Because I, 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 I cut the, the plastic. 
enough for doing this sorry uh, it's difficult to put and this is one I, I lost the letters but this is 1500 I think you can put this if you got Every, all the, this, 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 and this, and, and a bit more here, I think you can put 1,500, yes, of course, you can, yes, 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 you can put if you want. Uh, using this battery, and the Game Boy Color, and the light, the, because I, I update the screen in this, I like this one, the, I love the Game Boy Color, okay. So for this model, Game Boy Color Earth Flash that is take more energy. Sorry, I haven't put well. The cable because I haven't cut I haven't cut this too much, only a bit. So I the cable need to put on the left, not in the center, or I have a problem. Okay, perfect now. Using the Game Boy Color, using uh, this battery is empty. Using the a new screen, the the F, F flash, I can play eight hours. So if you use a battery of one thousand five hundred in younger pocket, I think with this screen, without changing the screen, twenty hours. I I don't know. I haven't tried that many a lot of hours. And if you update the screen, I don't know. But I minimum eight hours like the Game Boy Color. Anyway, I, I'm speaking too much. Let me finish the video because this is this might be long a, a lot. Okay, in my case, I need to do this. Okay, this is the size of one AAA battery. I can connect here. Okay, here, and now I can. Okay, and do like this. And now I can do like this and like this and I can close this. You will see now. One second. I need to put the screws. Okay. Second one. Ah, it's not. Magnetic enough. Magneticet, I think, is the word. What more? That's one, that's one. That's one. Two left. Last one. Oh, in, come on. Oh, I, I forgot to off my shoulder iron. Okay. Okay, and how oh, you can see this is super small, and I can close. And I can play. And the screen is born, so I don't know if you can see well. No, now I think you can. I, I, I forgot to put the game. The Wario, Wario Land is the, the best game. After Tetris. Okay. This song well. The screen is difficult to see, but I think you can see something. The light here is white. I think it's good. Maybe for some people it's too much brightness. Brain, brain, brightness. Sorry. You can put something. I don't know. Um, I don't know which thing you can put if you have problems for too much light. Anyway, I, I bought the lights and I, I, I want to, to put these lights with the kit and this light will be not transparent, will be translucent, I think is the word. I don't know. But you can fix this if I can include this for you, perfect and if you can if I cannot I think you will find the, f the the way to fix it, and this finish. Uh, of course, I can I can connect the USB C. It's a bit short, but I think it's enough for charging. Yes, it's enough, but in the next version, this will be 
a bit out, one millimeter more, so it's better. I can play at the same time, now the light is a bit pink color. When this is done, I don't have any battery done, uh, full, but this will be green, and yeah, it's ready. Now you have a, a video game, I will show you the old one, the new one, the this jack that is for, for what, for nothing, and this the USB-C. You can charge your battery, you can use your standard USB connector that you can use from your phone, from your anything that you have, from your battery, like me. And you can play many hours. You have this. You can do this with your pocket. You can you can do this with your Game Boy Color. And also, I have here. I don't know where here. I have for the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP. Because the original one, I will show you. I have. The original one is is both of these. They include this is the normal one. This is the the how to say it. The, this is the light. This has the light on the front. This another has the light in the background. I I, I forgot the word. Okay, anyway, uh, you can you can put in both of them. You can remove the the Nintendo connector. This include the energy and the audio because Nintendo decided to remove the uh, jack, the headphone connector in this model. Okay, so both this connector has both functionalities, features, but this doesn't matter. Why? I, I want to show you now because I don't know when I will make the new video. You can solder this board, it's super tiny, I don't know if I have here. This is the first version, I'm waiting for the second version. Here I have many because I tried to put many in one board. But, this is like this, something super super small. Why? Because it's only the USB. Okay, and two resistors. This is the first version, I, I changed completely the second version. I'm waiting for it. And the good thing that this has, the good thing that this has, let me see, is that you can you can connect the battery or your charger, turn on, and your Game Boy Advance SP will charge. It's good. I have seen people, I think two, two people who made this kind of board, but my board also support audio by this adapter. You can use, this is from Huawei, this is from OnePlus. It's an analogic adapter. This doesn't include inside a, a, a sound microchip, a DAC, I, DAC, I don't know how to pronounce. This is only adapter, analogic adapter. Why? Because the output is analogic. You can, you can put the game. You can listen the speaker. Come on. Okay, you can listen the speaker. And when you connect this, this one doesn't matter. I like the red one. The speaker stops to sound. And I don't know where I have my earphones. One second, a second. I have here. You can you can connect your earphone. I don't know if you will be able to listen. But now, both of them, I, I think the holes are here. The microphones of my phone. I think you can listen. And when I disconnect, it's here. So, this USB has the same problem than the original one. You cannot charge and use the audio at the same time because it's the same connector. I have seen someone who has adapter a special adapter that includes the jack connector and another USB. If you have this, yes, of course, you can you can charge and take out the audio. So this is good. You can use both. Maybe you can use a, a, an analogic earphones that doesn't have this, has USB already. You can use like, but this is super important, it's analogic. It's not 
doesn't include inside any any electronic component. It's only adapter, okay? And okay, I think it's enough for finishing this video. It's super long. I I didn't want to make super long like this. <sighs> and follow me in Twitter if you want. I will tell you when I have this board and this available because I'm in, in testing now. I'm testing the boards. This version one, version one. I'm going to in version one point one for both of them. Are almost perfect. I did a few changes, but I I want to test before to make many boards. Okay, so you can have USB and battery for Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color. And USB and audio because this in I include already the battery and charger so USB and audio for three models also the Game Boy no Game Boy the Nintendo DS include this connector you you should be able to to change if you want to put I mean I, I can show you this is the Nintendo DS and include the same audio connector. Also, when you connect this adapter, the Nintendo adapter for taking out the audio, like this, this works, you can you can take out the audio. So you have this jack, sorry the camera, you have this jack where you can put your earphones, but also you can put here. So that means you can change if you want the this connector and put in this, and this will work. And so, oh my goodness, so this board is compatible for this, this, this as well, three. This for Game Boy Pocket might be Game Boy Light, but I haven't tried and I will not try it. And this only for Game Boy Color. Thank you so much for watching my long video and I hope you enjoy it. And this is useful if you have a board for installing it. Thank you. Bye bye.